Hello gamers and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play World of Warcraft as a Draenei Paladin. In the last episode we quested a bit in Darkshire and finally after like a quarter of an hour, like 15 minutes queue time as a tank, finally the um, dungeon popped. But this is not the way I want to play this right now, so I will with a with a little tear in my eyes change my timeline to Draenor, do the uh, Draenor intro quest and get a whole lot of experience on, 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 uh, on that way. would have loved to uh, revisit all the old dungeons and not just by like transmog farming but like real revisiting them okay what do i have here and have new gauntlets that's crude and versatility uh, sadly no haste i don't need this uh, sword even though this looks good oh, my nose is itching what the hell Librarian's cloak. Oh. His pants are not good. This helmet is not good, and this bag is also not good. I mean, item level-wise, it's pretty decent, but it's nothing I really, really uh, need because I have all my heirlooms. <coughs> Okay, Kuromi, I will have to abandon this uh, Cataclysm timeline. I'm sorry. And let's do the... Where is it? Draenor. 300 timeline. I will not do the Pandaria timeline because... Yeah, that will be done then. Okay, it obviously doesn't work, so I will have to... Do it like this. Yes. Speak with Archmage Catgar at the foot of Dark Portal. Yes. Let's head over to the uh, Mage Tower. Uh, Mage Tower, the uh, thing here. Mage Quarter. The, the tower in the Mage Quarter. And he can teleport me to the Blasted Lands. And I already have plans for uh, the Mist of Pandaria. Pandemonium remix. I will level a. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> I, I didn't uh, detour. I will level a Pandaren monk and probably other characters, but the Pandaren monk will be uh, a new project of mine. I, I think until then I will have reached level 70 on my druid. I hope so, at least. I mean, I'm, I'm level 66 right now. This should be uh, possible. And then this uh, druid, let, uh, druid project will be replaced by my um, Pandaria leveling project. I'm so hyped for this. I played like an hour of or so on the uh, beta last weekend. I'd l I would have loved to play even more, but uh, sadly I wasn't at home. Uh, and <laughs> if you're not at home, you cannot play. That's uh, pretty uh, basic logic. <laughs> I have some footage of it, but I, I don't think uh, I will uh, be... Um, I mean, the, the internet is full of spoilers for this event, so I will not uh, provide any more spoilers. How can I help? Now head over to... No, I, c I cannot fly. I know that if this uh, entire zone is... Uh, not, not the entire zone, but this entire stuff is designed around not being able to fly, but it, it still is a bit crippling. Oh, sorry. 
Ugh. Come on, you guys. What are you doing? Ah, dude, I need more haste. I need so much more haste. I do have stamina trinkets. I will replace the stamina trinkets with haste trinkets. I'm pretty sure about that. gives me a haste value of 14%. That's still slow as hell, but <coughs> compared to everything else, this uh, does some good. Ash main bore. It re actually re reduces my uh, stamina, my HP pool by quite a bit, but honestly, I didn't take any damage in this... Oh, this is an elite, isn't it? Yes. I didn't take any damage in the dungeon in the last episode, so... Who cares? If I have like a hundred HP more or less. But I don't think I will mess with elites. Not that they're particularly dangerous to me, but they are... Well... They take much longer to kill. And I want to finish the uh, intro quest, actually, in this episode. Maybe this will be in a bit of a longer episode as well, but I plan to uh, make it in <coughs> like 15 minutes. Uh, 15 minutes, uh, like 20 minutes of questing. Cutgar. Hello. For Azeroth. This is our chance. Storm the portal! Even though Warlords of Draenor is not uh, in too high regards, but the cutscenes and the, the intro quests and all the stuff was pretty amazing. Back in the days. Okay, Horde Missive. Maybe you already give it? Yes, that's awesome. And Disable two fell spires of the Dark Portal. I'll do that. Thanks for blasting this open. Chogal. Who cares? Destroy that realm and seek out Gordan if you truly wish to stop the Iron Horde. It's Gordan! Gordan powers the portal! Look! The portal grows weaker! Hold that promise! Our work is nearly done! Let's head over to the second spire. Uh, 
and free Terran Gore. Okay, and now kill. No, let's first turn this quest in, then disable the, the dark portal. Enter the soul engine beneath the dark portal, then shut the dark portal down. This sounds like a good idea. First one. Second one and the third one. You're free. Definitely will meet again, but first of all, I will have to okay, put away my weapons. And uh, first of all, I have to turn in the quest. After turning in the quest, I will make a quick break in the recording just to uh, make myself a coffee. I'm really in dire need of coffee. So, quick break. Um, I mean, <laughs> you won't not notice the break at all barely at all so you maybe it's a bit of a jump in the in the cam or in the game but nothing else okay i'm back with a nice a cup of coffee for the horde as a drain eye for azeroth ah <laughs> oh, nice warm cup of coffee that's so amazing let's continue uh, Something nice, something I don't have the. Oh, I have all the appearances. Uh, I need. Well, what is worth most? 10. I mean, th th that's only silver, so. Uh, who cares? We will not let their great sacrifice be in vain. Okay, use the Lucif Lu Luciferium bead to destroy eight bleeding hollow huts. Some legs, I don't need legs. Slay six bleeding the hollow orcs and free the slaves from the two bleeding hollow cages. That's easy. Okay, I missed this hut, obviously. No, I actually don't need to kill you. I will need to rescue those guys over there. I need 
to get closer. I have unspent heaven points. What do I have? Hammer of Righteous. The sh in the light when Shield of Righteous expires, gain 10% block chance and deal 27 holy damage to all attackers for 4 seconds. That's cool. And redoubt. Shield of the Righteous increases your strength and stamina by 2% for 10 seconds, taking up to 3 times. Ooh, or Grand Crusader when you avoid a melee attack or. Use Crusader Strike, you have 50% chance to resist the remaining cooldown and uh, to reset the remaining cooldown of Avengers Shield. That's absolutely what I want. Definitely. More Avengers Shields is perfect. Okay, more huts up here. Don't pull. I only need six of the bleeding hollow orcs, and I already have four. <laughs> and three more houses. There's some up to the, up to the north, aren't there? I think there are. Yes, there are three more huts. The last three. Putting out Savage. What did it do? Avoid a melee attack or use Crusader Strike? Nice. When will Crusader Strike get another charge? Sometime in the future, obviously, but not yet. Got cars here, and let's head over there so I can turn in my quests. I'm level 16, 15. Dungeons you have Shadowmoon Burial Grounds and Bloodmore Slag Mine. Yeah. Let's get to work. Blaze of Glory. Yes. And Bleed Dry. Marat, give me some experience. Police. <laughs> <coughs> Speak with Ariok, then help him distract the Eye of Killrock. Where's Ariok? Here you are. Let's head over there. You and I against an entire clan. Sounds like my kind of fight. That sounds like fun, bro. Ah, coffee. We will escape before they can complete their transformation ritual. Okay, uh, destroy this orb. It looks like Kangar and the rest are on the move. Our work is nearly done, champion. I see. Which dungeon is Killrock uh, killed? Actually, uh, was it was it Shadowmoon Burial Grounds? No, I, I don't think it was Shadowmoon Burial Grounds. Shadowmoon was um, Nazul, wasn't it? Oh, I, have, I haven't played uh, this in ages. Even though I play a, um, I always farm some of the Warlords of Draenor transmog, but mostly in the um, Iron Dogs. Fresh 
Blood and honor, my friend. Blood and honor. Until we meet again in my garrison. Maybe. I don't know if I'll build my garrison in any way, shape or form, but... Potentially, if I decide to build my garrison, we will see there. Yes, I will follow you. First we deal with the bridge. <laughs> now, let's get moving. Do I need to... No, I don't need to uh, repair my stuff. This is actually a bit, a bit, an, a bit annoying. My uh, webcam hangs over my uh, Titan bar up here, and th the Titan bar display on my second monitor on my recording software is a bit too, too small for me to read. But here, uh, my webcam hangs right in front of it. <laughs> That's uh, interesting. Run for your lives, of course. <laughs> I can hear okay, Marada, let's head in the arena, shall we? We cannot hide here forever. Follow me and stay close. A combat arena. This may be a trap. At least we'll die with honor. This labor and torture knows nothing of honor. Hmm. Cargoff Blade Fist. Cargo of Blade Fist, even the name makes me uh, want to play the Burning Crusade time walking event, which will start in. I don't know when it will start. Some time in the future, I guess. get experience from this uh, s uh, killing here, from this um, absolute massacre. No, I don't. I don't. Don't have that kind of time. 
everyone with me. I only counted 99 kills. Then I guess we owe you one. After them! Don't let them get away! Quickly! Into the cave before they fall! Okay, I think in this cave I will, or maybe as soon as we're out of this cave, I will end the episode. I don't think I will get it all in one episode. I made the last uh, last one uh, way too long. I mean, way too long. It's ten minutes over time, but yeah. I try to keep it like uh, on like a half an hour. As you wish. We Come must on. Not fail. This works war. and Luca. Oh, this is where we uh, encounter Irel, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. And I got another one. Fist of Justice. This is my interrupt. No. This Hammer of Justice. Cleansed toxins is. Repent. <laughs> Obduracy speed increases increased by two percent and damage taken from area of effect. That's cool, but I need blessing of freedom for this. Hammer of wrath is my execute. Yeah, whatever. I just need hammer. Oh, uh, my shoulder. It just why it does does it does it do this? Okay, let's apply this and put this up here. Then head up there. those portals um what I have to have to do is up there whatever there's still one one uh, one uh, level higher hello Irel Oh man, Irel. If his commander's dead. Nerzul will surely come looking for us. Irel plays a very significant role in the. I need to get closer. I see your friends in the chamber. Magar Orc. Allied race quest line. Not the most positive, as far as I remember. Draenor act pretty, uh, pretty radical in, in this quest light, I, I think. But I, I could also remember it uh, incorrectly because it's been, it has been like five years. No, it, it was. I misclicked. It was in BFA when I unlocked the allied races and. Uh, which one? I think Magar Orcs were one of the first unlockable uh, races. So I think it was like in mid BFA when I unlocked them, and it's, it was 2015, 2016. No, that's wrong. 17, 18, or something like that. That's also already four or five years ago. So, no wonder that my memories are a bit uh, fuzzy about this. The new quest hub is up here. Mm. 
But before I encounter the final boss of this uh, mini dungeon, I will say goodbye until the next episode. Bye gamers.